Well, do I promise you anime stories, uh, animation stories, anime stories? Well, I got you not one, not two, but three stories in this edition of Mad Men with the show. We got some good news on, on the horizon on there into 2024. We're also celebrating an anniversary of one particular animation. And uh, we got some added stuff that's coming very soon to Adult Swim's Checkered Past. That's right. And I said this before. We're going to, we're, it, they're going to expand this. It is becoming very popular. But let's start off with this. Let's start off with one of the nice things that has happened. Uh, Powerpuff Girls. Powerpuff Girls is celebrating 25 years. Think about that. You know, the Defenders of Townville, Warner Brothers Discovery, announced that basically it's a year-long celebration, 25th anniversary of the Powerpuff Girls uh, from Cartoon Network. I love this series. It's so great. I love the characters, Mojo Jojo, him, and many others that have been on the show as far as the villains. This is really good. I'm so glad that uh, basically the TV live action never came to fruition. Uh, there was an interview with the creator of Powerpuff Girls, and he says the reason why that this was not going to work is because you've made the Powerpuff Girls adults. That's what you straight out. Powerpuff Girls is Powerpuff Girls, little girls fighting villains. That's what the whole show is. You you can't take a, a show characters like this and just you know, make them adults. You know, you can't really do it with this, with this particular show. I mean, you know, they try to think of it like Dragon Ball Z. They said, well, we could do it with Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball, you know, he started out as a kid and stuff like that. In that case, you're seeing the, the progression growth. Here, you've stayed with Pop Up Girls. Hey, like I said, 25 years. 25 years and what is it? Three, two major series from Cartoon Network. There is the anime series. I could be wrong about the, the two. It might have been three. But also you had the anime series, which, you know, was very good as well. You know, I'm surprised it didn't do any bigger than that. But it's nice to see that, you know, something like this is celebrated. You know, because basically it is a fun show. Speaking of that era of Cartoon Network, um, moving over to Checkered Pass, which is now adults... Uh, that part of Cartoon, Cartoon Network of the Day is now part of Adult Swim. Uh, if you haven't noticed yet, Adult Swim is starting at 5 p.m. Eastern now these days with the series Checkered Past. Uh, basically, you know, you're getting some of the classic stuff. Uh, you're getting uh, The Grim Adventures of Bill and Mandy and Dexter's Laboratory. Well, we've gotten some word. Uh, starting in December, it looks like they're going to be adding some more to it. In fact, it start, it's starting Friday, December 1st, which is... Actually, that's this Friday uh, when you come to it, when you're looking at it. Uh, ba basically, they will be adding the uh, series Cow and Chicken, I Am Weasel, and Evil Concarni will be coming to the block next. Now, according to the scheduling that's for Friday, December, the block will begin with Ed, Ed, and Eddie at 5 p.m., followed by Cow and Chicken at 5.30, I Am Weasel at 6, ending with Evil Concarni at 6.30. Uh, these will be debuts for this, uh, you know, because, you know, you have great shows like Courage the Cowley Dog, Dexter's Laboratory, and Grim Adventures. Uh, they'll probably be mixing it back and forth. According to Michael Oween, who's the president of Adult Swim, uh, he says these, these shows have been showing potential since early fall. Uh, he said this over at New York Comic Con 2023 over at Javis. And he said that, you know, we're sticking with this. It, you know, it's going to ex expand more and more every day. 
uh, you, you know, when it comes down to it. And like I said, this is the end of Cartoon Network slowly. The Adult Swim Network is what's going to be the big thing now as far as this channel. I'm hoping, if Michael Oween is out there listening, an afternoon tsunami, please. Please, an afternoon tsunami, two to four. Please, bring that back. And I'm talking, bring back the classic stuff. Get that Dragon Ball Z and Sailor Moon and those other series that we used to watch then. You already had that GPX uh, on Toonami. I don't know what the ratings was that on uh, back during the, um, what was it, during the holiday week, you know, Halloween weekend, uh, you know. You know, and now we have um, Demon Slayer. Uh, was shown uh, the uh, Mugen Train is currently going uh, on the weekends on that. And speaking of Mugen Train, Toonami has announced that two animes are coming for, tw for uh, 2024. Two big ones. One of them, yes, it is Demon Slayer. We're going to get the next um, season of Demon Slayer dubbed. That's the Entertainment District arc, which was fantastic folks if you have not seen the entertainment art district arc the action especially the last couple of episodes is phenomenally animated on this you want to catch this particular one the the fight scenes in here are well done that's right well done you want to see the Entertainment District arc. It is really, really good. And that will appear January 13th on Toonami, Adult Swim's Toonami programming. It will start to appear on that. I don't think we got a time on that, but it's probably going to end up to be like midnight or 1 a.m., somewhere in between there. But on January 20th, and I'm surprised that more people are talking about this. But this particular anime is coming forward on there, which was a popular one when it was out. It's good action. Is Lycross Recall uh, anime. That one is coming out as well on January 20th. It is really, really good at manga adaptation. Main premise of it, if you don't know this one, it's well worth to watch. For these peaceful days, there's a secret behind it all. A secret organization that prevents crimes. Uh, the... DA direct attack and that group of all girl agents Lycross this peaceful everyday life is thanks to these young girls the elite Chizno Nishigi is the strongest Lycross agents of all alongside is Takaneo Inu the talented but mysterious Lycross they work together as one of its branches of cafe Lyrico and this is a really well-spirited series on there it, like i said if you haven't seen it it's got some good action in there uh it's a good story uh i'm just finishing up on it right now at the moment i, I kind of lost kind of lost it for a little bit and, it, and i'm just getting back to it because I, I found some other stuff and i had to finish off uh one of these uh dungeon series that is also really good the season season four is it all right to pick up girls in the dungeon you know that one uh, I had to finish that one off. And I found a couple of others that were just really weird and strange. And as soon as we get into the new year, I'll talk about them on there. Because they've been out for a little bit. And nobody talks about them. They're not the greatest series on there. But they were well worth the watch on there. So, happy anniversary to the Powerpuff Girls. We got more uh, Checkered Pass coming out. Cow, cow and Chicken. And... Uh, I Am Weasel and Evil Kung Carney coming to Checkered Pass. Uh, Toonami's getting the Entertainment District arc from Demon Slayer. And Lycros Recall is coming also in January. So tell me in the comments below your thoughts about this. I mean, this is some fantastic news for you guys out there. Those of you who do like it. And this is why, and like I said, this is why the Adult Swim uh, name has still survived on this remember disney is on its way out of broadcast television remember that situation nickelodeon is on its way out. nickelodeon is mostly you know what they're pushing toward is like a pluto tv channel which they have a multiple pluto channels now 
You know, fast channels is what they're looking at. Boomerang is on its way out. Um, a couple of other uh, children's uh, animated uh, channels are on. They're going away. They're going away. And so, and some regular channels, FX, FXX, Freeform. You know, those are all going the way of the dinosaur. But you know, Adult Swim is still continuing to bring its customers in, the viewers in, because there's they know now what to put on the channel, not the, some of this garbage that has been put out there. They still need to learn a little bit more, but they're getting there. You know, Netflix is the next one that needs to learn, and we're not even gonna go into that Scott Pilgrim situation into there, not yet. So, once again, comment below. Tell me what's on there. Don't forget to subscribe if I earned your subscription today. Question everything because they don't want you to question all these things these days. Stay strong. Enjoy the rest of your week. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for turning in. And always remember, I am just a madman with a show. Thanks for watching. Before you go, please comment, like, and share this video. Also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe as this helps the reach of our channel. Finally, as a content viewer, you have that ability to help support this and many other channels. Especially now more than ever since the passing of a new law in the United Kingdom that will diminish the reach of many channels and affect our advertisers. If you wish to help grow this channel by financial support, you have two ways. There are two links in the description below. The first will send you to a pay site where you can make a monetary donation. The second will send you to our gear store where you can purchase t-shirt, mugs and other specialty items. Any additional discounts will be listed on the main page. Once again, thank you for watching and your support.